Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to my city. My name is Verena. I'm my friend, this is Iris. Hello. Today we are going to be your tourist guide. Uh, well, let's begin here in Las Boas or dungeons or balls. During the colonial time, when Cartagena was fortified, the pirates attack, there was a gap between the, between the bastions, Santa Catalina, and Santa Clara, that was Juan Sotomayor, a Spanish military engineer, couldn't close. So it was the perfect place to construct the build. Why? Because the build were needed to hold, to house the trap, the military traps, and to store all the ammunition, can powder, and provisions. Well, by the 1755, when Lorenzo de Solis was the Spanish engineer military who took the place of uh, Batista McEvan, kept in mind that idea, that great idea, to house the troops while they were defending the city. But just in 1773, uh, he could give all that project to the government. But in those days, they couldn't that, that construction. It was in the hand of Antonio de Arevalo in 1789 that really that construction could have began and, uh, and about a lot of, about some years more, uh, after all obstacles, he could finish this construction. It finished in 1798. Okay, they were constructed with the material of that period, of that time. The material was, the material was uh, really necessary to keep all these uh, dungeons that you can see here. On the face or on the front, on the front you can find or you can see 47 uh, arc and 23 dungeons. Now my friend Iris is going to continue guiding you. The balls were constructed with material of the time, like bricks, wood, concrete, a quick claim and iron rod for columns. The facade is composed for 47 round arches and 23 half barrel balls, characterized for symmetry, simplicity, and elegance of this neoclassical neo architectural work. The balls has passages inside. They are located in the middle of the of the vault of each vault. They were used to communicate to communicate them internally. You see yeah. it? These are the passages. This is an example. They they are located in each vault. So they they were used to communicate to communicate themselves uh, internally. The vaults also have big, two big windows, one at the top of the entrance and the other at the end of the vault. They were used for ventilation. Here you can see three little windows. They are named loopholes. They were used for the Spanish uh, soldiers to detect the enemy in the sea and to turn them without being seen. You here, you can see the sea outside. In the front part, you, we can see at 
triangular pediment where there is a marble shell that represented the coat of arm of Spain. Okay, now uh, the bones number 21 were using for necessary bathrooms and the 22 it were for saving munition army for the troop and the other the last one 20, number 23 was using for safe food provision and food for the troopers and now the government promotions tourism uh, restore this this place to for the people that doesn't have jobs for example regional people that make handicrafts theme for Colombia. Now you could visit this beautiful place to buy the normal uh, handicrafts in Colombia. That's it. That was the room of the brigadier in charge of the boat. Well, as you could see, this is the, the wall, this, these are the walls that was the last military construction to close the world city. But today, from 1950, there is a beautiful handicraft store.